Um, the other one. The other one by George Ezra. Ah. Uh, no, I've not heard of it. Here we go. Anyway, enough of George Ezra. Other musical artists are available. Um, yeah, here we go. Oculus up against Reason Gaming. First map is going to be Mirage here. And we'll see. This is the grand final here. Best of three for £1,000. We'll see who is actually going to be able to take this one away. Winner takes all. Whoever comes second here, no prizes except for second seed in the group stages. So a lot on the line for these two squads. And we'll see who is going to be the ones to actually take this one away as the push is going to come on through here. Robin, the point man. Pushing on forwards and gets one through the smoke. Oh, wait, no, it was his grenade that got one in the end. I thought that was a miraculous headshot, but it's one for one to kick things off. And immediately, it, they've sold the fake. The bomb is going over towards the B site. The A site was all just a cunning ruse, and Orglus have been well and truly sold on it. And now it's all the story of the retake here. Rom pushing on forwards with his P2000, searching for headshots, but he's not even found anyone yet. Pish is going to be the first one to go down, though in this four versus four, and Jenko is going to find a second one. We're running out of CTs right now as Thomas drops and Smooya with the world on his shoulders will go down. Disco Man 208 is going to be able to find the headshot in the end, and that is going to be Reason Gaming starting things off right. Yeah, so Disco Stan has uh, Eminem in his picture. Yeah. Perhaps that's because Stan is a song by Eminem. That is a likely uh, possibility. A likelihood. But that's the next film coming out from uh, Noel Edmonds. A likelihood of uh, brotherhood and motherhood and something otherhood. Anyway, <laughs> Jenko going to be able to take down Leffy there, as it is now a four versus five in favour of Raisins Gaming. And looking good so far, it's going to be Fry to take down Fish. And that's a great opening into this one. Three players remain now in this force by. Of course, Smooya, the only man going with a P250. And it's going to be Rom working his way forward. Smooya hiding away like a little rabbit as Robin will take down Thomas. And this time, Robin not going to be able to do the work. And he's just letting his teammates crack on and crumble the enemy. Smooya, the last man alive now. P250 in hand. And he's going to have to go absolutely H A M H A M if he wants to win this one for his team. We're not going to be seeing a team ace here, but we may be seeing the Smoo ace. Who knows? The Smace. This mace. We'll have to wait and see. No. Does actually dink uh, onto Disco Man, but oh. unfortunately, Ledank memes were too strong. They were. They were very strong. Strong indeed. But Samuya goes down, and it is going to be a second one for Reason Gaming. Much expected. And we'll see whether Orglus are going to be able to pull their socks up on this one to save their ankles, getting a little bit chilly. And Cankles. also get themselves back into the game. I have Did you say cankles? I have them. I actually know what cankles are. I think That's they're big fat thing. ankles. Okay. I don't actually. I've, I've heard, I've heard that said. Day. I think it's on Mean Girls or something. Yeah, something like that. I had no idea what on earth it actually means. Either way, Disco Man gets tagged a little bit there. Just testing the waters, seeing what's going off over towards the A site. Bit of a party going on and he unfortunately missed his invite. And uh, you know what happens when you trespass on a party, you get shot at. That's exactly what went, yeah, what went down. What <laughs> Pichilla goes down as well as Thomas. And Reason start to pull out an advantage here. They're going to head towards the A site, or at least they're going to pretend to, because the bomb's been put down at B. Oh, no. Everybody's going down. Rom gets stabbed in the back by Robin, who finds himself a headshot onto Leffy as well. And there we have it. Four people survive. Another round for Reason. And finally, Orglis are going to actually be able to buy some guns. Yes, indeedy. That's a good start in the game now for the reasons. But are they going to have a reason to win this next one? Robin holding on to the MAC-10. Biggie Smalls inbound in your position, good sir. And, uh, well, this is for the least looking concerning now for Orglas. If they don't win this round, it's going to give so much momentum to reason, and they're just going to storm away with this game. Let's also not forget there is some fatigue that comes into this. Orglas have just played two maps. And although Pish will open this one up onto Robin, taking down that Biggie Smalls MAC-10. It's a great start, but there's still a lot more work to be done. As Smooya works his way in, or in hand. And this should be an interesting round. t -Sack works his way out, but already the attacks come in. Disco Man, or at least one of them, has got a kill. I mean, unless you change your name back, I don't know who you are. So that's really unfortunate. You're just going to get less screen time, I guess. Two players now versus three. It's all on Rom and Thomas to try and retake this one. Bomb is going down under the hands of Fry. And uh, not 
Great. On low HP, he manages to escape there. If Thomas held his angle, he would have got that kill, but it's not to be right now. Flash goes in. But no one affected by it. Fry still alive, holding his angles, and hoping to get some work done, but it's not quite working out. And this is not going too well at all, as Disco Man finds himself in a very difficult position. It's actually Thomas. I know, that's what I meant to position. say, but it's the bloody names. They just confuse me. Well, I mean, Thomas has been sticking with Thomas. That has been his name. But it is going to be Thomas grabbing himself one exit frag, but it's not enough to take the round and reason maintain their lead. Thomas is going to be able to pull his M4 through into round five, which at least is a silver lining for Orglus, but they are falling seriously behind. And a worrying factor here, as well as the fact that we're usually seeing Orglus being the ones taking this early advantage. This is how they get the game snowballing. We've not really seen them fall behind this heavily previously. So I've got to say I'm a little bit worried about the future of this matchup for Orglus, considering that fact. Yeah, absolutely. This is definitely going to be tough. Thomas working his way forward. And his teammate will fall. Smuya going down already. All of this is just pistols, and Thomas is holding onto that rifle. Leffy falls. Oh, he did get himself one kill. And there is low HP across the board for Reason Gaming, as Thomas will find himself one kill. Yenko looking to get himself some work done, but Fish comes in from behind. Now in a two versus two. This is actually doable for Orglus. They've got two weapons. Thomas has armor, so maybe there is a game on here. Maybe we've come to the Super Bowl, and uh, it's not been Super Bowl 50, and we haven't seen a halftime show as, uh, as bad as, I don't know, Lady Gaga trying to do rock and roll. I'm sure she could give it a good shot, but she wouldn't be as good as potential rock and roll stars. Anyway, Fish going to come out, and he's going to get taken down as Thomas will peak takes down T-Sack. It's now a one versus one. It's all on Stanley. Can he win this one for his team versus Thomas? He's got 50 seconds to play with. There is so much time, he doesn't have to worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing, because every little thing is going to be Disco Stun, as he will work his way all the way around to A, and this is a very clever play. Yeah, but I think it might have been sniffed out here, as Thomas seems to be gravitating towards that A site. He smells how dank those memes are for Disco Stun. How dank as heck. According to his uh, clan, they are. Slash group, slash whatever you call them on Steam. I can never remember. Group. His group, isn't it? Yeah. But here we go. The bomb is going to go down to Reason. Once again, finding their opportunity in this map. The AWP in the hands of Disco Stan. He should be alright. Stanley. He's written many comics about 1v1 situations. Is he going to be able to turn Thomas into a bit of a comic here. He's not going to find the shot. Thomas with good reaction spots out that player and finishes him off handedly. Has time to go for the diffuse as well as grabbing that orb. So very nice little bit of play from Thomas. Grabs himself a sniper, grabs himself a round and gets Orglus finally on the scoreboard. Yeah, so great stuff. 3k in the round for Thomas, and he's going to be able to save that orb out for his team. Winning them the first round. And if they can hold on to this, maybe there is still a chance. Now, very much so in this game, there is a psychological battle going on. They are trying to take Mr. Smuya off of his perch, and so far it's working. Zero kills. He has had the AWP, and uh, this is looking interesting. So, Reason, they're playing all the battles. They're playing psychological mind games. They're using chemical warfare, and soon they're going to be using their guns as well to get into this A bomb site and batter down the defences. Let's see who's going to be the victor. There is an AWP. Two orps and a rifle, all on the A bomb site. Leffy using his utility there. He's going to spray down, takes down Disco Stan, and the rotate comes in now from Thomas. As Leffy still going, not going to be able to take down Jenko as he will be dispatched off, but are they going to be aware that no one is in Palace anymore? That was uh, the dead man, Leffy. Sorry, my bad. I, I actually can't read. I don't know if uh, you're aware of this, but I, I don't have eyes. I assumed that that was the case, but Robin is going to make sure that Thomas's eyes are no longer functioning wasn't actually a headshot, but it doesn't matter, because if you're dead, you can't see, as far as well, we're aware. Well, we least. don't know that, do we? As far as dead. we're aware. But two orbs in play here for Orglis. Maybe they can still make something happen. We've seen them pull out 3v4s before, but the bomb is down. Disco Man 208 is on the scene. And we'll see what Orglis want to do. I wouldn't be too surprised to see them just hold on to these rifles, to be honest, especially now Rom has just gone down. It's going to be Pish. Trying to find an opportunity, but just can't connect the shots. Smuya finds one finally. And the two orbs 
might just be the miracle that is required. But Smuya suddenly finds himself all on his lonely own. Some three players still up for reason, and I don't think there's much that Smuya can do about this one. He's just searching to try and keep the rifle at this stage. Not a good situation to be in. But Orglis now four rounds down in this one. And they are actually going to bring in a tactical pause. Tactical being because someone's gone to the toilet. But let me tell you, Smooya has found himself a kill. Rom may not have, but Smooya has. So maybe this is the turning point. Maybe Smooya now turns on, starts playing Counter-Strike, and, uh, and Orglis have a chance because so far it's not been looking too good. Jenko says AFK or because, of course, people at home, they can see the chat today. They know what's going on. It's all out there in the public domain. So players, don't be rude. Don't call each other nincompoops, I guess. If people still say that. Do they? People say that all the time. Really? It's, it's the a, worst it's thing. thing. The worst thing. I can imagine it being pretty bad. Super flame. Super flame. Super flame! That's one of Stan Lee's characters. Is it? Super flame. I think he's just called the Flash or something. Or oh, the Flame Man from the Fantastic the Four and a half. Man. <laughs> yeah, the Flame What's he called? No the guy idea. that turns into a fireman. A Barry, I think. I think it's Barry. That's what he's Bazza. Called. Yeah. Barry! <laughs> he's there. Lighting things on fire. Stealing ideas from the X-Men. Or the other way around. Who knows which one came first, honestly. Probably a lot of people out there know. But I certainly don't. So, <laughs> Sonny is live and well on the minimap. Goodness. Hashtag ESL Prem. Hashtag Twitch, hashtag Hitbox, hashtag Azubu. I haven't got that much time. <laughs> they might switch back at any point. Well, I think... I think. <laughs> to be honest, I've done a fair bit of UKCS at this stage. And I reckon we've got a bit of time. Although, I do say that. It's been on pause now, so... Uh, this isn't what you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going with this? This is not what you think it is. Is it a one? Ah, uh, I can't do it quick enough. The round's underway. Uh, the round's it's a, underway. It's a recorder that sprouted legs. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Uh, Dear we got me. there eventually, didn't we? Anyway, as you say, the round <laughs> is underway. Herald is Twitch chat incarnate. But T-Sack is going to have a fight on his hands. As he's being pushed here by the CTs, but not so much Ooh. success. It is going to be Pish, though, using that Deagle. We've seen him do crazy things with it earlier on today in the previous series, but he's not going to find Robin. Does manage to take that duel in the end using the AK-47. Now Reason, they've found themselves an advantage, and they're going to head straight over to the B site. Yeah, B site is the site to beat. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> and uh, it is going to be four versus three in favour of Reason Gaming. This buy not working out too nicely so far for Oculus. Of course, there is still the AWP on Smooya, so there is still a chance and some hope. But with Rob alive, with Disco Men alive, with Jenko alive, who knows what could happen? Anything in the whole wide world could happen right now. Anything. Like, I mean, psh, all sorts. There are just so many possibilities of what potentially could happen, but we don't know. And we probably never will know until the end of this round, at which point we will know. It is going to be Leffy under attack here, but he has got some support coming in from Smooya towards CT spawn. Of course, there is also the AWP on Fry, who's looking to get up close personal and do some damage. But just now, there's not too much going on. Smooya going to be holding the angle down, preparing himself for battle, and hoping someone will walk into his crosshair. And when they do, he misses. This is not looking good. He will find the repeat coming through, and he will be trying to do some more work. Working, jumping up, missing another shot, and Smuya's day is just going from bad to worse as his friend Thomas will be drop head. And then Smuya with 4 HP has a dream, but can that dream be to win the round or will it be to die? I don't think anyone would dream to die, especially this man. Did someone just join the game? Uh, I didn't see someone join the game. Uh, prod B fixtures plus 4. Well, there you go. I guess he's uh, spectating. Yeah, for now. He's on delay, so I guess it's fine. But here we go. He's not on delay. He's live. Spectators are live. Oh, goodness. I don't know. It's not good. That's a League Ops thing, I guess. Okay. Thanks, League Ops. Anyway, Smooya is going to be trying to stay alive, but it's not going to work out for him. He's going to get sat down on the floor like a sitting chap. And that's going to be the round in the bag 
for Reason Gaming, who are looking stronger and stronger every round that they take. And Orgla seem to have hit that brick wall that has been coming to them for so long, and they seem to just smash and climb every single time. But this time, it is not to be. Reason Gaming storming ahead with a big old six-round lead, or maybe a five-round lead, depending on how good you are at counting. Well, I'm particularly good at counting, and I would suggest that it would be the five. But Robin is going to be already in a very aggressive position, heading over towards that B-site. There's nobody there at B-site from Orglas. They're trying to get control of this mid-area. They've got someone in window. They've got someone in connector, but... Pish has been found out in connector. Thomas is there as well. Can't quite finish off the kill, though, as... Uh, it is going to be Disco Stan that dropped in the end, getting confused between Disco Man and Disco Stan. But in the end, Smoothie and Rom, last two remaining. They're over at the A site. They've got a couple of pistols, but I don't think that's really going to be enough in this kind of situation. They should be going down. Rom actually does find one for himself. Fair play to him. But in the end... His first one, actually. Is that his first kill? His first kill. Not good news. And, you know, Reason, they're starting to do a similar thing to what Reason did to... No, to what Orglis did to yeah, FM, FM in the first game. Yeah, absolutely. This is looking really strong now for Reason. They are storming ahead so much that there is just no stopping these men. There is going to be a buy coming out here, but it's so odd. There's an M4 on Pish. There's two armors and some weapons, but I just don't like this buy. It's not even an even buy. It seems like it's a miss buy from Pish. But apart from that, this is just weird. I mean, if you look at the economy at the end of this round, we bring up the scoreboard. <coughs> it is not a good state. Thomas is going to take one, but the trades come through, and Jenko, the double man spray down there. <coughs> That's all he needs. Pitbull himself chiming on in. Mr. Worldwide. Getting a couple for himself. And actually, going to try and transfer it onto Rom as well, who does win out the fight, gets himself a kill, and suddenly we've found that Orglis, they're the ones outnumbering, they're the ones with the guns as well. It's going to be down to the Disco Duo. Over on this B site, they've got an AWP to work with those Disco Man and Disco Stan. Try and find the kills, and they will be able to do so. Pitch suddenly alone, but not for long because he's going to join his friends in heaven. Or in Disco hell. Man. I mean, they are terrorists. Judge, jury, and executioner right there. So here's an interesting one for you. The really? terrorists aren't actually terrorists in their own minds. They are freedom fighters. So really... If you're a terrorist, the counter-terrorists are the terrorists. It really depends on the situation, doesn't it? Because if you're not being oppressed and then you're causing terror, then you're probably not fighting for freedom. You're probably just fighting for the banter. <laughs> Does anyone fight for the banter? <laughs> Is that a real thing? Oh, why have you gone to war? That was banter, wasn't it? <laughs> That's probably Queen Victoria's answer to a lot of things. What did Africa do wrong? That's banter. Sorry. What did India do? Yeah. Banter. It was. It really was great banter. To be fair, no, let's not get into that topic properly. But I certainly feel like that's close to Donald Trump's reasoning on many of his statements. But Lefty arriving on this site as he knocks down Jenko, and there are four snipers on the side oh. of Orgulus right now, and it seems to be working pretty darn well. They're managing to take this round. Very convincingly. There's another one. Leffy grabs himself a third one for the round. And Reason, well, you have I guess you've been sniped. I don't really know what to say off the back of that round. That was an interesting strategy coming through from Orglis. But it pays off. Yeah, Reason taking a tactical pause there and uh, hoping that they can just think about what's going on. But here's an interesting fact for you. Uh, Orglis only have one around after four losses. So maybe that's the secret to success. Win four rounds, and um, then you'll lose one. See, I have an interesting theory about this. Would you like to hear it? Yes. So here's my interesting theory. If a team allows the other team to win four or five rounds and then loses one, you can then reset the economy and win the next four quicker, mm. as opposed to just going flawless. Hello. It is definitely a strategy that exists, but you have to be very confident to be able to pull that kind of thing off. And to some extent, it almost feels kind of disrespectful to go for that kind of strategy. But, I mean, hey, if you feel that you're confident enough to go for Absolutely. that and pull it off, then, hey, that's how the game works. That's how the economy in the game works. So definitely worth doing if you can pull it off. Domination. Mm. Overkill. Indeed. Indeed. 
Double kill. What's that from? Halo 2. Yes, correct. Played a lot of Halo Did in you? my youth. Yeah. A lot of Halo. Yeah, so did but I. Before you were born, mate. It was not where I was bloody born. When I was six years old mate, playing Halo. I was on Pillar of Autumn when I was bloody two. I loved the Pillar of Autumn. I used to shoot a friendly and you used to have to run Just to the front of the ship and get down yeah. the ladder. See, I know what I'm talking about. Good times. Good, Good times. times. Good Combat times. evolved. Oh, Combat Evolved. Combat really has evolved since then as well. It has, yeah. And um, it's turned no, it into Counter-Strike. That was in the future. That Global was based offensive. in the future. So it ha probably hasn't evolved But Combat then. in real life has evolved since that time period that the game was made. But it hasn't evolved since the time period that the game was set in, so therefore it has but devolved. At this the end of the day, Counter-Strike Combat devolved. War never changes. What's that? When it comes down to it. Once war never changes, that's a motto for something. Mm. Is it Battlefield? No. Yes, it is. It's Battlefield 1, isn't it? No. What is it? It's Fallout. Hey? Eh? Fallout. Is it? Yeah. I don't know about that one. We'll fact check that one. <laughs> Do you not believe me? You it's can't Fallout. fact check it. I can't. I well, don't I'm refusing to. today. I refuse to do it. <laughs> so right, I must be right in that case. No, it is definitely Fallout. Fallout 4 had that motto. Really? <coughs> one of the changes. Well, I'll tell you, war does change. So that's obviously wrong. But actually, I think it was also in Call of Duty 4. I think it was in both of them because I remember seeing it on used to live here. Now it's a, no, ghost, it's a town. ghost town. It doesn't sound like that. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Captain it's Price. Captain Price. Yeah, I know. He's got like a. So, what kind of bloody name is that? <laughs> Goodness. Goodness gracious! What is going on? Then you had Gaz. I've got to say, if this is a tactical pause, they're discussing a lot of tactics. It's not. Right Someone now. was lagging. Can you unpause so we can just win and I can sleep, says Disco Stan. You paused, Disco Stan. It was your team that paused. <laughs> so. They have also requested the unpause at this stage, so I think. I don't know. Who knows, mate? Who knows? Fingers crossed. Apologies about the delays here tonight, guys. We have had a fair few pauses and whatnot. But we should be able to get things going again shortly. I hope, maybe, who knows. I'm just guessing, really. Yeah, just uh, hoping. I mean, we're hoping we don't have the same situation that happened yesterday, because of course, <laughs> this game is for how many pounds? One. One thousand. thousand. That's an awful lot of pounds. I ain't got that many pounds in my bank account. I only got seven. I got seven pounds in my name. I don't know how I'm going to get home, but I'm going to find a way. Have you already got petrol? Uh, yes, I have. You're laughing. Yeah, I should be right. Laughing, Although, if I only get halfway, I will just die. I'll have to get seven pounds worth of petrol if you're even allowed <laughs> to do that. I know two litres is the minimum. I've I've been at low points where I've yeah, got five I've got a fiver of yeah, petrol. Yeah. I used to have a moped it's and I only over. used to take a fiver. Really? I physically only took a fiver and that I thought week. they ran off petrol as well, to be honest. I wouldn't have even known that you could put a fiver in a moped. <laughs> get out of my life. The game is underway <laughs> and we are back into the action. Just where I want to be. Do you reckon if I yell loud enough, I can max out the sound? Probably. She's but there is an audio day. guy sat over there who's <laughs> shaking his head and looking <laughs> menacing. I'll just wait for a good moment. He's going to be sat on the gain or something all yeah. night. On the base. Ready. Ready turn for any moment. Up. Can you turn my bass up? Is that a thing? Can I sound He's like this? He's nodding. He's nodding. Who knows? I I'll tell you, I'll tell you who anyone. needs to turn up the bass. Orglus. They yeah. need to wobble sure the bass is reasons to life right now. They need to press the overdrive button on their amp. Here we go. Fish, or oh, Pish, sorry, is going to be the first one to drop and reason are well and truly in control of the situation once more. Five AKs, no snipers to be seen. They're not looking for long-range fights. They're looking to take the fight to Orglus. And as far as I can tell, there's not a lot Orglus are going to be able to do about it. Samu, you're going to be arriving once more. Sneaking up to the site as Leffy. I think that one was through the smoke. Oh, Ooh, gets another one as well. Hey. Leffy arrives on the scene, doing some ridiculous things. Smoothie as well gets the second one. It's a wall bang. Looks for the third, but it just goes shy. Over to the right, and Thomas finishes the round off. I tell you what, the second you give Orgless snipers, they are going to take rounds. They are going to hit ridiculous shots. 
And they are going to make things happen. But Reason, already well ahead. So, Orglis, they've got to go on a bit of a rampage here if they want to stay in this game. Yeah, but the problem with this is as soon as Reason are able to restrict the economy of Orglis, they go back to square one. They can't play again, and they're going to be in trouble because we know that their rifling just isn't up to spike, and it's not going to work out too nicely. It's going to be another A attack coming through, but Leffy is really proving his worth on this team right now. Of course, previously known as Prophet Muhammad, uh, <laughs> Leffy is really doing the work that he needs to be doing. Maybe he was Prophet Muhammad uh, in celebration of Eid. Uh, no, because he was last week as well. Maybe he was preemptive. <laughs> preemptive celebration. That's me. I'm always there. Like, this August. Ready Christmas. for Christmas Let's already. Go. Yeah. Anyway, the push is arriving, and this is going to be an absolute onslaught. First kill comes through. It's going to be Pish taking that one nice and easy. The second will follow. It's Smuya doing the damage. Pish is still alive, keeping himself in this one. It's a two versus four. Pish should be going down. He should be a dead man already, but he's not. Leffy going to be able to follow that one up. He makes it a double kill. Down. So big stuff coming out now from the orbs of Orglus. That was beautiful there by Pish and Leffy working together. Pish is just like, look, they're both looking my way. I'm going to distract them as long as I can. And Leffy just comes in from the side, punishes them for focusing a little bit too hard on only that player. And they managed to capitalize on the situation nicely. Unfortunately, though, they have been losing players in these rounds, and it means that there's only going to be an ump for Pish now. Ump. And ump. Excuse you. You're a P. George is fuming. Yeah, I hope so. The audio guy is hating his life. I just hope someone at home has this plugged into a subwoofer. You can follow the audio guy on Twitter at George underscore audio. Audio? I don't know what his Twitter is, I guess, to be honest. But I'm sure he can I'm sure he can tell Tim ESL underscore George. Everard. ESL underscore George. Put it on the stream. Who knows, to be honest, mate. Who knows? Who likes sound, guys? Who likes sound? I like sound. It's my favourite type of noise. Well, there you go. Smuya, he loves the sound of the orb as he blasts Disco Stan into next week. And gets Orglus off to a good start in this round. And we have a little bit of a duel. Unfortunately, Matt doesn't actually want to watch any violence in this round. And he's going to transition away just as the fight kicks off. But there we go. Leffy chiming in as well. As the, his aim remains true. And he finds yet another target. T-Sack going to take one member down. Leffy just looking for the random shots. And there it is. That is the audio to it attack. But T-Sack punishing us for staring too long at the Twitter tag and he takes a kill knows that his opponents are distracted by the overlay and he's going to be able to punish them for it but this is not looking like a good situation for Rom he's certainly got his work cut out that's safe to say T-Sack just going to play ring around the rosies and we'll be able to finish him off with yes. the Techno see what I loved about that round was Reason Gaming find themselves in a bit of a predicament they're not winning the Angels because they're getting taken down by the AWP so what do they do they go back to strategy they play a really nice fake over towards the B bomb site and then they just close in on A and they absolutely crush that defense and they do it perfectly and I absolutely love that so that was a really nice round coming out from Reason if they can keep it up like that well God help Orglus have to see if they can keep it up. Only two rounds left in this half, and Orglis, they're going to be searching for that 9-6 because 10-5 is not a scoreline they want to entertain. Jenko just arrived, and he made sure that Smuya was well aware of the situation. Orp still in the hands of Leffy. They do have some firepower to work with, but I don't know if it's going to be enough in a 4 versus 5 Ooh. Two players on 3 HP right now. Jenko going to be finished off by Rom as well. So actually... This is potentially looking doable, especially if Pish can be the one to find those low HP players. Make that 5-7 a pretty useful weapon. I call this two and three quarter players. I don't know if I'd go as far as three quarters, mate. Six HP. Yeah, but there's an AWP. There's two oh. guns that are still firing. Oh, <gasps> here we go. Thomas going to go down there as Disco Man absolutely unveils his little hidey hidey plan. He's going to get taken down. Rom now being a sneaky little fella. He's going to be hiding away over towards those B-apps as Leffy peeks out with the OWP in hand. Going to be hoping to get some work done. But is he going to be able to? Up close and personal with the AWP in hand. There is opportunity. But is there death at his fingertips? Leffy is going to find T-Sack taking down one of the full HP players, which is a very big play. But being closed up on now by three players. It's a three versus two. Make that a two versus two as Leffy goes absolutely H-A-M. Not with an eight, but with a four. Hum. So this now is getting exciting as Rom finds one, but Robin with only three HP in hand takes down Leffy, and this is now absolutely nail-biting stuff. 
15 seconds remain. Three health. And Rom left to clutch <laughs> versus Robin. Can he do it? Can he not? I have no idea what's going on because I did not have one of those screens. Your base definitely got turned up. Did it? During that bit of play, play But there we go. It is going to be Rom. Finds the headshot in the end onto Robin. And will be able to take the round. And got to say, absolutely crucial round for Orgulus. And they're going to be able to take the AWP on through into the 15th round of the half. Which could be the difference between them winning and getting obliterated. I see what we'll you did there, by see. the way. Absolutely crucial round. You can't make those puns anymore. Crucial's gone. Well, just because Crucial was a player in the UK Prem does not mean that I can't he would have been his a player in this ever. team. He would have been a player in this team. Don't forget that. What? Why? Why did he not? Because this is Neil Lamb's mix. Neil M. Oh, right, yeah, 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 of course. I was going to say, Neil M is on Reason, and then I remember we are casting Reason, so. Makes a lot of sense that this would be Neil M's mix. Yeah, that's why it's Reason. Unreasonable, there really. Is, there is a good reason. <laughs> I've got to say, we are really stretching that pun thin. Yeah. Can we find one for Orglus? <laughs> um. <laughs> They're absolutely Orglus at the moment. That doesn't really work, does it? Because it is just their name. They're certainly going to be trying to... Or get up. <laughs> they're ogling the scoreboard. Orgling. Oh, I don't like that. Anyway, the push is coming towards the B bomb site. And Reason Gaming hoping to close this half out with a positive influence on the game. A 10-5 scoreline on that T side would be absolutely <laughs> enormous. And remember, ginormous is not a real word, guys, at home. Ginormous, not real. I did get that confirmed with my year three teacher uh, a year ago. So ginormous, don't use it. <laughs> it's, it's enormous and giant mixed together. It's just not a real word. Anyway, the push is going to be coming in onto the B bomb site. It's going to be a bit of a split, but it's been a perfect fake Rudy. Smooya, Pish. And a cheeky bit of lefty, all left over towards the A bomb site. And Thomas in the window. Rom's going to have to go ham, but he can't. He finds one kill. And he is dispatched of. Now in a four versus four retake. This is definitely favouring reason. And they're going to have to do a lot less work in order to hold on to this one. The smoke goes down. And the bomb will follow. As Orglas pour into the bomb site and pour into the retake. There is a flank coming through from Pish. But that's about all that's going on. Coming down short. Nades will fall. And Disco Stan takes one. Disco Man takes two. And Jenko follows it up onto Smuya with Disco Man. Following it. And closing it in a 10-5 scoreline. Very good stuff. Coming up from Reason. And, well, I think the phrase start as you mean to go on comes to mind. Yeah, absolutely. And I would assume that they mean to go on as they started this half as well. They really were taking it to Orglis to kick things off. They did manage to close the gap a little bit, Orglis, that is, towards the end of this half. But i got to say... It was a little bit short-lived, and Reason have managed to take that huge advantage moving into the second half of the game. However, we are about to see Orgla step onto that terrorist side. We know that that's the side that they much prefer playing in. We know, especially on overpass, that's where they really come into their own, and we'll see whether that's actually going to be able to happen here on Mirage up against Reason. This is their biggest challenge yet, and Reason... They're looking at a flawless record right now. Lot, not lost a single game throughout the rest of the promotions. Oh. As everyone's just leapt out of the server. Well, <coughs> as far as good things go, that's not one of them. Nope. No I team would. change during the match. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to... I'm going to overrule that decision. Oh, you're not allowed. I am overruling it to say that from now on... At half time, team changes are allowed in the ESL. No, premiership. no, you can't do that. I can. I am the Premiership. You have a very menacing look on your face. Well, it's the normal look, it's just a little bit more menacing because you're looking at me. It's the red lighting. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> George came over earlier and he was just illuminated by red. It's like a red man. It looked pretty good. I gave you suit him. red. I gave George two. Great British pound sterling when he came over earlier. Did you? That was nice of you. He gave you one large Red Bull in return for your two Great British pound sterlings. I said he could keep the change. Did so you know pound sterling is not an actual currency? Wait, no. 
Great British pound is not an actual currency. You're going to say pound sterling is? Yeah. Yeah. It's a real I thing. was about to contest the fact that you said yeah. pound sterling isn't a I real currency. Confused. I was like, I got real pretty confused. sure you know, that it is. In England, you can't kill swans. I did know. Why? Well, actually, you can. It's well, just illegal. Yeah, you, you can <laughs> kill swans. Why, though? Because they are like, they're like the queen's animal they, or they're something. They're under protection by the yeah. queen. I went to France the other day, just started kicking them. Great. Because I can. There's no French king. So I just kicked swans they used all day. To be. They used to <laughs> be. Once. Once. And now, there's not, now there is only the Great Wall of Calais. <laughs> Hashtag build a wall. Hashtag make and pay. Amazing. The immigrants don't want to pay for the wall. Well, it just got six feet taller. Yeah. Welcome to politics, boys and girls. Welcome to Cali. Mm. Mm. Everyone in the world. So, what we've learned from this conversation, I don't, what I we've learned from this conversation is, do not go to France and kick swans, or Donald Trump will become president. No, I mean, that wouldn't be a bad thing, in my opinion. Really? Yep. Hashtag ESL <laughs> Prem. Let's let's not promote Trump on let's the not Premiership promote if we can help it. On Premiership. How's about that? Yeah. Good good shout. Except the Queen. Long good live shout. the Queen. <laughs> Hashtag ESL Prem. That's not politics. Queen. Yes, it is. Not really. You don't Rule vote for them. Britannia, she doesn't have to impress Britannia anyone. Britannia rules the ways. Britain never, never, never shall be slaves. Rule Britannia. Britannia rules the way. I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm losing control Same of my on. life. Yeah. As as production oh. rightly whispered in my ears, we should probably stop singing about slavery. It's not about slavery. It's about not being slaves. Uh, rule Britannia. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was about Britannia was to rule the world. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. The That's exactly what the song is about. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't want to rule the slaves. <sighs> anyway, Akuna moving on, Matata. moving swiftly on. For can you play uh, Rule Britannia <sighs> on the recorder? Yes, I can. <laughs> First one I learned. <laughs> really? Aside from three blind mice. Oh, that's a bit disability discrimination. Is it? it? Is it? What about the other mice, like the ones without legs. There are no other mice. <laughs> they're, they're bloody well are. I've seen them. They're not. Those I've are seen, the three. I've seen some mice without three. feet. Those are the three. They're not. They're they not, get everywhere. They're not. How do they mate? It's like Adam and Eve again. No, they don't mate. They don't, they don't die. <laughs> it's yeah, like have that you not film. seen Hitchhiker's Guide? Hitchhiker yeah, 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 mice are in charge. There's only uh, three of them, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can just teleport and fly. And the second you're not looking, oh look at this <laughs> adventure! That's a Titan pole. <laughs> well, all kinds of fun happening oh, here. Oh, on they're server. all died. That's a bit grim. Can we not? But hey, we've got players on the server. What do you know about that? Unfortunately, we have gone back to the start of round 15. So, fingers crossed, we can uh, go back to round 16. <laughs> now they're going to have to replay it. And someone's going to refuse. Never lucky. And that'll be the end of our finals. <laughs> £1,000 to the team that <laughs> plays the round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Well. Do you remember Easy E? No. I have no idea what this reference is. I assume he's a what? rapper. Is he a rapper? George, not Easy E is. Do you know who he is? He's an audio guy. Of course you know, he does. Emily, Easy E? Uh, Tim, Easy E? Yeah. They, Do you they, know who Easy E is? No. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's one out of ten. Yeah, get wrecked, mate. Yeah. Easy E was the uh, well, the lead rapper of N.W.A. And oh, I can't say what he that was. stands for. Of course he was. No whites allowed Should is what have stands for. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like as bad as just saying Yeah, whatever. it is, isn't it? Oh, uh, oh, something's happening. Oh, God. <laughs> Not the right thing. That shouldn't be happening. I think they're just uh, allowing reason to win the round so that we can move into the second yeah, half. Yeah, I mean, economy stage. doesn't matter. So. Well, in the grand scheme of things, it does, but not no, in this round specifically. Nice. Also, aren't they going to get loads of, like, debuffs now? This isn't World of Warcraft, friend. Friend? Don't you remember your application? Denied. Oh, shit. That's acquaintance to you. Damn. You're still in the application process. All right. Hasn't been reviewed by admin yet. It's the last time you come to my studio, Sonny Jim. <laughs> oh, no. You see what I did well, there, Sonny I'm, Jim? I'm taking the kids. 
They're not your kids. Mine and Jackie's. Well, Peaky we'll and Beaky. Can't touch him. Well, we'll t- the court will decide that, let me tell you. I'm not sure that's true. Um, you can't, you've can't. already said you've got seven quid to your name. You can't afford to take me to court. <laughs> you'll have to pay the legal fees, I think you'll find. Don't know about that one. Well, we'll see. This right. remains to be seen. This remains to be seen. Well, I'm having the house. <laughs> I don't have a house. <laughs> well, I'm having it anyway. I'm having the rented accommodation. Yeah. I'm having your ex-landlord as well. He's mine. You can have him. Uh, you can have good. my ex-landlord. I wanted him the whole time. So, <laughs> what is happening? Can I just have the feet? It's MP. Oh. Neil M is now a CT. But Disco Sun is AT. Oh, they switched. Hooray! I think we've done it. I think we've made it into the second half of the map. Ladies and gentlemen. What do you know about that? We've Nothing. made it. Unbelievable Welcome stuff back here. Everyone. everyone that left. And there we go. Jenko. He's Jenko. made it. Finds one tasty little headshot for himself onto Rom. Starts the round off right. Disco Man pushing very aggressively up mid. Gets completely blinded and taken down by Smuya. 4v4 now. Smuya pushes on into connector and Thomas has taken control of the A site. <laughs> Smuya walks straight into a line of bullets and Jenko finds his second kill of the round, making it a 3 versus 3. The bomb is down though. And it's down to reason to get the retake. Yeah, absolutely is. This is not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination, but the push is coming in. Jenko's found himself a wreck nine. It's going to be charging as Fish will find one, but Thomas peeks out and Jenko is no more, but T-Sack still tapping away. is going to be doing a little bit of work. So there is still hope. T-Sack, one more. Can he find the last kill? No. Fish going to be able to take that one, and that is the win in the game. He's not actually shooting his head there, but you know what, it doesn't matter. So great stuff there. Neil M., you can't join the spectators. That is definitely not allowed. Um, yeah. What happened there? That's good. I'm glad this is all going out to stream. That's the main thing. That's what matters. Either way. No, it's not anymore. <laughs> He's figured it out. We got rid of that. Enough of that nonsense. Either way. 6-10. Orglots, they're back in this game. They've got some rifles to work with, and they should be able to close the gap in the scores over the course of the next couple of rounds. They should have the advantage here. It's going to be Disco Stan gets pushed away by Thomas as they enter the B site. They might be able to make something happen here. That's going to be Disco Man going down. The Disco Duo drops. No more night fever for you, my friends. Smuyo looking to get someone who's hanging about in market and will be able to get the headshot onto T-Sack. And this is looking towards a flawless round right now for Orglus. They're making things happen, and Robin and Jenko left to wonder what on earth went wrong. Yeah, Jenko going to get a good tag off and takes down Smoother as well. Hiding away like a hidden little rat in a rat cave. Uh, he will go down in the end to the hands of Leffy, who has changed his name now to Leffy. And so it is all down to Robin, the man himself, the little Tweety Bird. Three kills so far for Leffy. He's had the game of his life, and he's really enjoying it. 17 to 13. The only man on his team that is positive, and I would say that is a positive attribute. So, happy days for the Orgelist. Robin is going to find one, but he will get taken down in the end by Rom. And that's a bit of money in Rom's pocket, 600 quid for the kill. And so, no buy coming out here from Reason. They are just saving the money and hoping to go into the next round with a stronger buy. Jenko looking like he's ready for the AWP. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Reason, as long as they can just stay alive, do a little bit of damage this round, they're going to be happy boys. They certainly will. T-Sack already tagged out at the start of this round. Tagged a little bit more heavily. And without any armor, this should be a simple round for August. There shouldn't really be any struggles. Thomas gets hit a little bit more than he would have liked to, though. And that's going to put a little bit of damper on things, but shouldn't be too much of an issue as Rom finds himself a kill using that ump. There's a Pashilla chiming in as well as Smuya finds one, and it's easy pickings here. Jenko suddenly finds that he's the last man remaining. He's got a P250. If he can connect the sh headshots, he will be able to make things happen here. But unfortunately for him, there's an AK-47 in the hands of Smuya, and he's just waiting. And that is going to be a flawless round coming through for Orglis. They're flawless, they're Orglis, and they're going to try and take Mirage. Huh? I can't think of another rhyme. But what? Orglis? Mm. Well, less rhymes with mess. Uh, death. Yeah, but you don't say less, you say less. I'll let you off. 
Anyway, the push is coming through. It's going to be Robin taking down one. Disco Man follows it up, and this drown is so reason. It is incredible. Thomas is going to be taking a peek there onto Disco Stanley. That is not going to work out too nicely. Three versus five in the retake. Although this is on the B bomb site, which is notoriously difficult to retake, it doesn't matter because there are five players alive. The trades can come through. And although Fish will find one, the trade is in. T Sack finds the kill. And Pish just holding back, hoping someone's going to walk into his hairs across. He will find t -Sack, but still, it's a three versus one now, and Pish is alone. They know exactly where he is, and Disco Man is going to find him. Bang, bang, bang. He's dead. Disco Man, going to be the last man alive. And if he has a kit, he has time. But he doesn't. Oh, doesn't have a kit? This could be close. He maybe has time, though. Uh, uh, actually, I'm not sure that he does, you know. I think this one is going to go off in the end. It's oh, the very God. last split second. And it's not going to be enough, and that means that Orgulus, despite all going down, they are going to stay to stay being the ones in the advantage position. What on earth was that sentence? They're going to be the ones keeping the lead for themselves. They're, They're the going to be the bomb advantage in the position with the second. Exactly. Precisely yes. what I was trying to say. 9-10 is the score, but Orgulus have got the guns. High explosives in the hands of Reason, throwing them over towards Ramp, but they're not going to find anyone. Jenko, the first one to go down. And Orgulus looking to take this round very quickly as they push up mid to gain that control. Discoman arrives with his 5-7, but I'm not sure there's a lot he'll be able to do here. 7 HP left. Smuya pushing super aggressive right now. Might just get found out, though, from behind. Robin is going to be there. Will get shut down, though. Don't know if he knows where Disco Stan is. He will for sure now. In the end, it's going to be traded straight back across. But four versus two now. AK in the hands of Disco Stan. He's just going to try and escape with that weapon. Yeah, and that should work out perfectly. Of course, only two players left. Disco Stan has got himself a weapon. So if he can do some damage, that will be all he really needs to. But Thomas says no. Takes him out of the equation. And T-Sack now left with a Deagle in hand. The bomb has only just been planted. So maybe there's an opportunity here for T-Sack to play a bit of a sneaky strike. Oh, no! No! Please. Okay, thank God for that. That could have been real bad. And uh, he will be taken down in the end. But that got way too close for comfort. And it is going to be 10-10. Orglis evening the score now. And, uh, well, they don't so show any signs of stopping. No, they absolutely don't. They're doing a phenomenal job here in the second half. Five rounds on the trot. And reason... They've managed to cobble together a pretty convincing buy here. Two orps and three M4s. Not as much utility as they would have been hoping for. But that doesn't matter too much if you can land the shots with those snipers. And Jenko going to prove that they absolutely can pish the first one to drop in this round. And Orglos find that they've got a bit of a mountain to climb. Moving forwards here. Smoothie going to be on point here. Looking over towards Boost. Nearly gets the shot blind. That, his crosshair must have been just a millimeter off on T-Sack there. Yeah, very, very close. Could have really come down to the wire, but it's not going to. And it is going to be the advantage staying in the hands of Raisins Gaming. So happy days for them. As the push will come out now, Smear with the AWP, just hoping t is going to get over aggressive. He gets the tag off there through the box. And that's going to be great. Robin up on high. Here's the player of Rom coming through and holds his position. Can't quite take down Smuya, but Smuya missing his shot. Makes it on the double. Takes down t -Sack. And that's a really nice opening into the round, but still in a four versus three. And the bomb going down on the B bomb site. This is an interesting play indeed as Smuya takes down Disco Man. And they're still not sure where this bomb is. Finally, they're going to rotate over, but it's just still in a three versus two as Smuya did go down. Leffy holding from behind. Should be able to take down Robin here as Robin going very, very quick. Clearly will get taken down. So in a two versus two now. Although it's two orbs, this is not what you want for a retake situation. Only a single smoke to play with. And I do not like the sound of this. They're going to eco. They're going to save those weapons. And man alive, this has turned on its head. Yeah, absolutely has reason. They're starting to reel a little bit from the punches that Orglus is throwing. Six rounds on the trot. Going to be able to save those two orbs. Bit of a silver lining coming out of this round, but definitely not what Reason are looking for. And they're starting to run out of time here. Thomas actually pushing very aggressively, trying to shut them down and deny those weapons going on through. Had he been able to as well, that could have been a huge deal considering how little cash there is to work with on the side of Reason here. Going to be able to pass those weapons around and buy up on the rest of the players. Couple of M4s and an ump. Plenty of grenades to work with. And this is one of the things that loss bonus is maxed out. And you know that thing you were mentioning earlier where you lose around on purpose just to deny yeah, loss bonus. Absolutely. The thing is, 
I'm not sure that Orglus are confident enough in no, this matchup no, no, to no, 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 risk no. anything like that, especially with how close the score is. Thomas managing to get one. Pish chimes in as well. And this is looking like an Orglus round right now. They could be just four rounds away from victory on Mirage at this rate. Robin does trade it, though, onto Thomas. So evens things up just a little bit. But the B site is well and truly in control of Orglus. They just need to get the bomb over there. But there is a player laying in wait. Jenko is just waiting for this push. Gets out his pistol but cannot connect the shots in the end. Reinforcements will be coming from Orglus. So Jenko has to get their heck on out of there. And he will get shut down by Smuya in the end. So the bomb will be dropped here. Two M4s in the hands of these two reasoned players. And we'll see what they can do with them. I think the best play of action here is to save them and give up 12 rounds. And, I mean, Orglas are coming back right now. If they manage to win this, I will be more than impressed because Reason are very easily the strongest team in this tournament, without a doubt. And Orglas have just been showing that they are not to be sniffed at whatsoever. This is insane. Already up. They're going to be taking the 12th round here. And these saving players really aren't trying very hard to save. So you're going to miss the no-scope there. And not quite sure how, but Robin will find one. Can he make it a second? He's got such little HP. He's playing this riskier than a risky biscuit. He will get taken down, however, by Pish. And uh, three versus one. t sack just needs to escape and stay alive. Yeah, he will be able to do so. Hold on to that M4 and Orglis now. Two rounds up and still on this winning streak. That's seven rounds in a row for Orglis and Reason on this CT side, just don't seem to be able to make anything happen for themselves. They're going to force up again. Famous and a Mag-7 coming out for Disco Stan and Disco Man. And a decent amount of armor and utility across the board. They should be able to work with this if they can find the right situations. Look at this setup, though, over towards 8 from Orglis. They're going for a full on set piece. The smokes will come out and I expect the charge to follow very shortly afterwards. Curious to see if they can pull this one off. There's only two CTs on A right now. Yeah, this is definitely not an easy situation to break through. And so Reason really need to be holding on quite effectively. But I don't like this setup. Not much. Of course, not too much to play with. So they don't really have a choice. Robin going to be able to open this one up. Takes down Smoothie. Makes it a double, but he will be traded out in the end by Leffy. And that man with the Mag-7 going to escape as Jenko chimes in to take down Leffy. And now this is looking good. Four versus two. This should be hard to lose, if at all. Roman Pish, they definitely have their work cut out for them. And it is not going to be easy for them to do any work at all. Rom working up short, finds the kill there onto Disco Man. And so Jenko has to reply, and he will. Takes down Rom, it's all on Pish. One versus three. He hasn't got the bomb, he hasn't got much hope. I'm not sure what the player is here. He looks like he may be interested in going for this one. He's going to be going to pick up the bomb. t -Sack is close by. Well, what does Pish know of this positioning? He's got the bomb in hand. He's going to be backing off. Just hoping that he's going to have the opportunity to find himself a kill. But I just don't see it happening. I just don't see him breaking in. With only 20 seconds remaining, T-Sack's going to be coming for him. And this is basically a doable. He's going to get the spray down, but he can't get the transfer. And so he's not going to be able to win it. Three players staying alive. Happy days. And, uh, well, a nice little play coming through from Reason to get themselves back in onto 11 rounds. But they need to win this round. It is absolutely crucial that they take this round. Otherwise, they're going to be in so much trouble moving forward. Yeah, and that was all about Robin and Jenko on the A site right at the start of the game. Only two of them were there, but it just didn't matter. They managed to mow down three players almost instantly as the round began there. And Jenko going to respond to that last round and follow it in suit. Gets the first kill. And Orglis, they're actually not in a great situation right now. They have to win this round. They have to reset the economy of reason. Or they could be in serious trouble moving forwards. But they're a player down already. And reason are looking to be the ones to take the advantage if they can just play with this outnumber that they've got on the go. But it's not going to happen as Pish capitalizes on an unfortunate bit of positioning from Robin. That's going to mean it's four versus four once more. But there we go. Disco Stan manages to get the advantage once again. Yes, already. Good situation for reason into this one. Thanks to the opening from Jenko right at the beginning of the round with the AWP. Leaves them in a one-man advantage still. 
And they should be able to play off the back of this one and do a somewhat decent job. It is going to be Disco Stan holding down as Jenko now moves in with that AWP in hand, hoping to help out. And he is going to take down Pish. So a nice opening comes in. Disco Stan holding fast. And that is going to be Stanley opening it up, finding one. And now it's all on Samuya. One versus four with the AWP in hand. Maybe there is a chance. Maybe there is a hope. And he's only got 30 seconds to realize his dreams. Can he do it? He's going quick. He's going very, very quick. But I just don't see this one happening. He is being jumped on. And Jenko will find him. That was a very nice shot. Yeah, to be fair, if Smuya had somehow pulled that off at the end, then yeah. that would have been glorious. But regrettably, it's not going to be the case in that round. And it means that Reason are well and truly in control of this game once more. There's nothing coming out from August in this round. They've got a Tech 9, they've got a Deagle, and just some P250s to work with. Few smoke grenades, but realistically, this shouldn't be around for them. So long as reason, don't do anything too stupid and don't just throw the round away. Here we go. The smokes go out, and they are going to push on towards this A site. The bomb is going to be charging on through, and they are going to be able to trade evenly so far. Let's see if they can make this happen. The bomb is going to be planted as Lefty gets himself a headshot using that Desert Eagle. Jenko arrives at CT. He's got an orb to use, and that should be enough to find him a couple of kills, but he misses Lefty. That was such an important kill for him to get. Finds himself a rifle. He's given up on sniping, and he props that up very neatly in the corner. But Disco Stan arrives and finds himself a headshot. Smooya is the first one to go down as Disco Stan doubles up. And finds himself yet another kill. The Tech 9 raining bullets across the map, but it's not quite enough. The Diffuse is going to be channeled. The Deagle isn't enough. Leffy finds himself a third kill, but no one on his team is able to follow suit. And it means that despite Leffy's best efforts, Orglus lose another round and fall further behind. Absolutely not great. But reason, they're coming ahead. And they are coming back into this game, thanks to Stan's great work there. Now, when you have a situation like that, and you have four players working as a unit, working systematically into the site, you know it's going to work out quite nicely. And that's exactly what happens. Thomas now lit down to 3 HP. And this is for recent gaming to take 14 rounds. That's penultimate. Smuya taking down Robin. Mm, that's a nice opening. Got very low players in mid. And Disco Man is going to take advantage. Just, I think we'll find T-Sec, but the trade comes in. Well, Smuya only on 3 HP. Definitely open to be taken advantage of. Like a drunk girl at a party. He's going to have to back off if he wants to keep himself in a good state. Not looking great. Pretty good analogy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Probably very, probably very offensive. Nah, very. Well, here we go. Smuya on the AWP as ever. He's going to find a duel against Jenko, and that's not one that he's going to be winning today. Straight between the eyes from Mr. Worldwide himself. And Leffy is going to find himself an orb to work with, but Jenko is not messing around in this game. And actually, Leffy, I think he's running out of seconds on this server. He does manage to find one for himself, but he's got to spin around quickly because the other two CTs are going to be pushing. Gets out his pistol at the worst possible moment. And we'll get punished for it. 14 rounds now on the board for Reason Gaming. They're getting awfully close to finishing this one out, but the loss bonus is starting to stack. That's four on the trot. And Orglis, they're starting to be able to rebuy these weapons. You've got Leffy with armor and an AWP here. If they can pull themselves together just a little bit more to finish off this round, maybe they could pull themselves back, but this is looking like Reason might just have this one in the bag. Yeah, absolutely. This is looking good for sure. And Reason are ready to take themselves match point, especially against this weak by Jenko. Putting a bit of a fake smoke down. He will capitalize off the back of that one. You didn't see that on screen, but it was a nice kill as Jenko did take the initiative. On a 12-14 to 14 scoreline with the advantage up, Reason Gaming looked very strong to take themselves match point. And uh, this is not looking too great. So, let's see. Can they finish it? t going to find one. t going to find two. Can he triple up? Or is this going downhill? Leffy going to get caught from behind there as this go man dispatches of him. And this is all now on Thomas to keep his team off match point. Can he do it? Can he not? Does it matter? At this point, I think it may be over. Thomas, your dreams, your hopes, everything you've done in life builds up to this point. Can you win this map to give yourself the opportunity to win one thousand pounds 
That's not ten pounds. It's not twenty pounds. It's not even fifty pounds. It's a thousand. He will find one. But he's still got four more players to find, and this is undoable. The nade reigns in. He's going to be tagged up. Oh, no. He avoids that. He's still got full utility and M4A1S in hand. He's got the bomb. It's everything he needs, but T-Sack gets on his back and takes him down. Yeah, it does get shut down in the end. That is going to mean match point is here for Reason Gaming. Orglis, if they don't want it, they come down... If they come down in the series, I guess. Uh, if they don't want to lose the first map in this series, they've got to pull it together. It's now or never for them. This is a best of three. They will move on to overpass, which, you know, with how close Mirage has been between these two teams, I've got to say, I feel like Orglus maybe have the advantage on overpass. However... Reason are on the cusp of winning this one out here on Mirage. They're going to find a nice little opener here. t going to be the first one to get it. And they're looking towards the map at this rate. Thomas going to push forwards very aggressively. Transfers the spray. Looks for a second one as well. And he will be able to find it in the end. This is a fantastic round coming out from Orglis. Two defenders remaining, but it's two versus two. As Thomas just spraying, hoping to find a target. Disco Stan, the last CT remaining. He's got an AK, so if he can find his headshots, if his aim is true, he will be able to defend this one. But it's not an easy situation for him. Two versus one. Smart play coming out from the Orglis members. Nobody giving a single sniff of where they are. Yeah, not giving anything up at all. And he has been spotted and dispatched of. So Orglis keep themselves in this for one round more. One more round to revolution. We will nip it in the butt. We'll be ready for these schoolgirls. They will wet themselves with blood. I, I reworded that. Hmm. Never heard of that. Really? What is that? Wow. Anyone else? Anyone? No. I love how you just turn to production as your audience. I hope that they know what I was singing. I don't think they do, mate. I don't think anyone does. I think you made they it do. up. Everyone does. does. Everyone does. Smoo, you need to get a really nice little shot. Thank you. There we go. It's one day more from Lemmy's Rock. There you go. Sticking with He's the French on. theme of tonight. He's leaving. Here we go. Let's see if Orglus can make anything happen over towards the B site. To be honest, all of their success this game has been either fakes towards A or actual pushes towards A. So I'm not overly convinced by the decision to push the B site instead. They haven't really had an opportunity to test the water over towards B. So maybe there is still hope here. Will go down, and the boost comes in from Smuya. So he's going to be getting himself up, but not too excited, hopefully, as Jenko is going to be holding down his position. Teammates go head to head, toe to toe, and Smuya edges ever, ever closer, just holding the angle. He's going to have to fall back, and Jenko finds himself alive for one more round at least. Smoke goes in, Molotov will follow, and the boost comes out. Smuya this time boosting his own teammate up in middle and the duel will come through once more. Jenko or up close and personal. He should have heard the player of Pesh running around causing all sorts of havoc. UMP in hand gonna be jumping up and down like a wild monkey but Disco Man is going ham as Pesh now trying to get back into it but he can't. Jenko shuts him down. P2K in hand and it's fine for versus two. Ron will find nothing. It's Thomas to find the kill as Lefty will go down. It's all on Thomas once more this time he can't Let's do it. He's gonna go down and out and that is Reason Gaming coming back? It certainly is. Wow, what a game coming through from both of the teams there. A lot closer than I was expecting considering the first half there. Reason managed to take the first half 10-5. And then Orglis, after a, I think it was, what, 